Welcome on the seminar about the Coppered Natural Bumblebee Hive, developed in cooperation with TNO Industrial Engineering. We start with the lightweight aluminium support. My charming assistants will show it to you. Thank you girls, ain't they lovely? Uh, where was I? Right, <coughs> the hive. It must of course isolate us from cold and draft. It should be lightweight for transport, and it should be reusable and recyclable. We choose board for the outside, and polypropylene for the reusable inner parts. We can also easily print some basic information on it. Now my favorite part, be happy. That's the name of our food. It consists of a plastic bag with a magic drink in a cardboard box. There is always enough for all of us, so no maintenance is required. I'll show you the wick later. But it can get cold, therefore on top we put a polystyrene foam for insulation. I'll explain the jaggy sides later too. Thank you Josephine! Uh, where was I? <coughs> Alright, now there comes the actual nest unit. Many, many research went into that. Ventilation is important. Now you maybe understand the jaggy shape of the edges. They allow the air to go through and will keep us inside and outside is outside. In fact, the nest unit consists of different parts. But this takes us too far to explain. The funny slide will be demonstrated at the end of the seminar. Let's continue with the cover. The grid structure is for ventilation and to avoid moisture, but also so you can see us. These extending parts keep the outer cover clear from the vents. In the middle you can add some pollen if for some reason we can't get out for a longer period of time. These small ones uh, are for some not so clever assistants to show them that they mounted the door the wrong way around. It's a one-way door, you see. Uh, right, where was I? <coughs> ah, uh, yes, there it is, the outer cover. Openings to create a chimney effect for ventilation, and if you push here, these parts turn and lock the cover. Open it by putting your fingers here and lift. Take it away girls, otherwise we can see inside. Follow me. Normally we don't fly inside, because it is too dark. We can take either entrance to go in, but only the right one to get out. We left out the cotton blanket we used to protect us and keep us warm. In fact our home is so well equipped that we can concentrate on the work outside. Now here is a place where Coppert puts the right amount of pollen for us to eat during transport. It is less tasteful, so we prefer to get out for fresh pollen in the greenhouse. But my favorite spot is over here. Hmm, be happy. Let me show you how it works. You see, by using this conic wick there is always enough room to lick it. Well, if there are no more questions, I'll show you the way out. We are going to shut everything, because the farmer is going to use some chemical stuff. He still has to learn about biological control. But that is another seminar of Coppert. I hope you have enjoyed the visit, and I'll see you again. Bye now. Bye bye. Ok girls, one at a time. You did great. Oh no, don't tickle me. <laughs>